Mr. Fresh Hour, I see that uh, you're ready for episode, what is, God, what is, I, I've lost Three, it's today. Tuesday. It's Tuesday. Tuesday, Monkey Ball Week. Tuesday, Monkey Ball Week. I am so excited for Saturday. Like, I'm freaking out a little bit. I can't hardly do anything. Like, I know. I, think, I spend all day thinking about what we're going to talk about at these videos. And so then, weird. But really, all I'm really thinking about is Saturday. Mm -hmm. and Saturday. Playing the event. So, we're going to talk about if you're in groups A, B, C, or D, and by this point you've looked at the brackets, you see your first round opponent, we're going to talk about some people outside the top 16, just we're going to talk about some people. It's going to be like, like rapid, fire rapid fire people talk. Look, I would like, start, <laughs> rapid fire people talk. Start, uh, let's start with the ones and the twos. Yes, yeah, so let's start with the ones first. Was, did you just try and, no, I nope, didn't. we're not going to talk about that. Mm. Uh, ones and the twos, so the one seeds, ones when we talk about ones and twos, talking about the people who are seated one and two in each of the four qualifying groups in the morning. So the ones that we're looking at, which are, I mean, this, this is still very high quality monkey ball player that you're looking at. Just outside the top six. Matt Danley. Uh, Matt Danley. He really wanted to beat you, but then you beat him. Smoked him. Yeah. Andy Keitel. Lefty Traddy. Still Traddy. Still Traddy. Still with the Traddy. Uh, yeah. Joe Wenzel. I took him out too. God. No, I took him. I took him Not out. Not this last year. one. Yeah. Previous year. I, he's uh, watch out. He's a cat. I'm watch out. Tanya. He's smooth. He's Competitor. just like his older brother. Smooth cat. Competitor. Ned. He's Ned. Hustis. Hustis. God, you'd think at this point we would know his last name. He never tells us. He's so quiet. He never tells us. Ned, what's your name? Ned, number one. <laughs> what's your name? <laughs> Tell us your name. Tell us your name. Ned is a number one seed in Group D. Uh, group D, which is not the group of death this year. We're going to get to that, too. Uh, the number twos, I really have an affinity for this group, mostly because I'm part of it. Yeah. Uh, Casey Freshour, shirtless Casey. You never know. You're going to get the good Casey or the bad Casey. You could get either or. You could. You could. Kind of like Rick Porcello. But thanks for the t-shirts. The t-shirts you're going to see this weekend... He, he's awesome. got great designs. Awesome. You're gonna, actually, you're going to see him on uh, on Friday. We'll unveil him on Thursday. Thursday? Yeah. Thursday. Okay, now I've got it. All right, the other one, John Ross. Wow. What was that? Bruh. Just, yeah, probably, he, can't, he can't talk about probably Ross. Probably 0-2 barbecue. 0-2 barbecue. He'll John be, Ross. He'll, be, he'll have the first Lions Club hot dog of the day because he's going to be done. He's going to be he'll probably have the truck second slamming. And, he'll probably have a second and third, too. Let's yeah, he's just, ju I'm sure Julie... His fiance will win more matches than John. Oh, that's some talking. Oh, no. Uh, Andy Oster's number two in Group C. Uh, last year you played with the boot mm -hmm. and made the quarterfinals. Yep. This year you you also have an engagement. I do. I have so, I have, I have a prior commitment later in the day. Um, that's an Oberon. I didn't realize you had Oberon on your umbrella. Yeah. Okay. I do. Um, yeah. It. We'll see what happens. Which uh, which Andy we're gonna see? Are we gonna see the Andy of NBA who made the quarterfinals, or the Andy of Patriarch Park who could barely either get it halfway there or threw it twice as far? It was so broke. I am uh, I am either on or off, and it's it's does it who nobody knows who's gonna show up. Someone's in my yard. Uh, the other two seed Adam Shrouden. Again, always makes the afternoon. I don't know if he's ever won a match in the afternoon. But this is like, this is his kind like, of thing. You told Drink me, beer, play fake sports. You told me that Adam was a number two, and I literally did one, like, be, be what? Yeah. How? We'll see on it'll, Saturday. It'll be fine. Now, you want to go through, I don't have the brackets in front of me. Let's but go some other names. Does. Some other, other names, names that you want to talk about. Group A. Uh, group A. Mark Matson. Oh, Mark Matson down from Maple City Glen Lake with, uh, with, his, with his lady friend, who we know. Uh, he's a youper, and he claims that youpers can play these games in, better than anyone else. That's uh, a, I think he's in for a he's in for a treat on Saturday. He's in for a bloodbath. Rex Danley. Rex. He's a number three seed. Firefighter. He is ripped. That dude is cut. Like every time I see him, I'm like, "How old are you again?" And it's not. It, it is much younger. Like I, Rex, you look good. He's got. <laughs> that's saying something. That is. <laughs> That is saying something. Group B, Shannon Nobles. Oh, Shannon unranked. Nobles. Probably going to come in a dress. Uh, she'll have a lot of arm accessories on. And, what, a weird what do you mean arm? and a weird asymmetrical haircut. And probably some glasses. And if it's hot, she might sweat on one, lot, one eye. But How does this affect her monkey ball? It doesn't. The, be the thing is, she's there for the camaraderie. Okay. And I like this. We've got a couple people on the roster this year that come because it's a great day. 
and even if you're not there to win, and Shannon, if you win this year, I will give you a thousand dollars. Like win one game or win the whole thing? Win the whole thing. I'll give, you, thing. I'll give you a thousand dollars too. That's two thousand dollars. Oh, sorry. Two thousand oh. dollars. That was a that was the weirdest. I gave you that. You gave me a little baby baby carrot. Oh, weird. Your first round opponent is Paige Winnie. My first round opponent. Mm -hmm. Well, gosh, I didn't I didn't see that coming. This is a random draw, right? Absolutely random draw, Paige. Sorry. I am going to take extreme pleasure in dispatching of her early. Now, Paige, um, she's bringing a friend with her. Paige barely knows what's happening this day, and she told a friend to keep this day uh, open, a, a mysterious day open on your calendar. I know you're Paige's coming friend, with me, Heather. And right? Heather has no clue what she's getting into. I'm sure that Heather knows that there's going to be canned beer and it will be sunny, so Heather's in. All right, perfect. Uh, number six, Josh Whitfield. Josh Whitfield is coming uh, without his big bro. Without uh, J Junior's coming without his big brother. Josh is the younger one. Josh is. The <laughs> Josh is the younger one. Matt yes. made it to the quarterfinals last year, and now he's bailing on us. Stupid weddings. Oh. Uh, all right, so let's go to Group C. Group How about C. we already talked about that number two, John Ross? So yeah, uh, we don't skip need to talk that one. Anywhere. Number two barbecue. Uh, number oh two barbecue. Uh, number three, Brett Teal. This is a man that I mean, this this is one of our most, uh, our proudest ambassadors of the sport. Like he carries the torch well for monkey ball. Uh, he's never had great success yet. Did he even come last year? I think he had twins and maybe didn't come last oh, year. Oh, there's those twins, right. Will the twins be at Monkey Ball? Will we have twins for the first time? Ooh, could be our first Monkey Ball twins. Bring the twins! I'm sure yeah. somebody will put them in a kiddie pool or like watch them or something. It's Somehow. not me, bring but they'll bring, bring them. Uh, group D, group Corey. Douche. Corey. F <laughs> group douche. Why do we even do that? We always call it group douche. And by that I mean I always call it group douche. Corey Fulton, Group D. You probably, you don't remember Corey. Was Corey? Hang on. I played Corey in the rain. You may have. Mm -hmm. He wore he wore a hipster hat. Wore a hipster hat. Was he blonde? No, you got the wrong person. That's not Corey. Corey is a bowler. Uh, he's a friend of Tony Olds. Nope, don't know. Him. And um, if he comes prepared, guarantee Group D Group D could belong. Corey Fulton. You almost said straight up group douche. You just almost just spit it up. I'd never call it that, but that almost happened. All right, who else? You Mike got? Van Antwerp. Who uh, the hell is that? Is that a person or is it you make that name up? No, uh, Mike and Amy. They came last year, loved it. Mike is a uh, high school lacrosse coach. Oh! And he's gonna, and he's gonna... Mike! Good. Yeah, can't wait to see you again. I know uh, I remember. Uh, and then we've got these three people uh, Jed Blanton. Jed and I! Annie Kirk and Eric Martin. Eric Martin, who is right now at home nursing his wife, uh, who just had. It was the ball. It was, Jesus Christ, just had ACL surgery. Oh, I didn't Hopefully, know that. Maybe Kristen will come and cheer him on. Now, let me tell you about this about Jed. We've been working with Jed. We've been working Professionally, with we've been working with Jed for the last year plus. And um, he's getting, he's this close to being Dr. Jed. He's got About this dissertation Jed. thing. And so he's taking the day out of this. Very busy schedule because like in like a week and a half. Oh, it's he's doctor in, time. He is head down right now. So this is a day for him to just forget about doctor stuff and play monkey ball. And so win MB9. Our job is to is to make him forget about doctor stuff. Now his fiance Annie Kirk, number five. Jed is not ranked, but Annie's number five. Annie is Doctor Annie. So congratulations to you, Doctor. Do so she's Doctor Kirk before he's Doctor Blanton. Yes. So is she gonna? Never mind. We can't talk about that. She's probably already published and all that stuff. I don't know. Yeah. Anyway, if moving on. So these are those are the names we wanted to mention. There are a lot of. I mean, Marianne Thayer's coming. Is Megan Thayer coming? Uh, to be determined. TBD. Okay. TBD for the Thayer. Um, there are a lot of people outside of the top sixteen that that are people to watch. They for. can do some damage. They can do some be, damage. It, this is where they make the tournament fun. They make because there's all different kinds of characters. I can tell you that I am I am really ready to make a run from uh, from the number two slot outside. Yeah. I want hair. center court in the afternoon. Yeah. You say hair? Yeah, I'm, I'm, my, I'm getting hot. So I feel like my hair is. Oh my god! You need a haircut. Yeah, I need a haircut. All right. That's it for Tuesday. Ugh, it's like growing into your ear. Uh, it's it for Tuesday. See, See you tomorrow.